Spain, Ucrania is really unknown, so I haven't got any idea about this country. Just a little things about Chernobyl and about the political situation. I didn't expect something and I didn't want to expect something because as less we expect, as more fun we have. I didn't have a lot of expectations about the Ukraine because I didn't want to have like boxes or pictures in my head. I really want to be open-minded. Uh, actually, it's my first time here in Ukraine, even though Poland is a neighbor. Actually, this project is very, like, really, really fun. And I didn't expect it to be that fun, to be honest. And, um, and yeah, I'm very surprised by the people and uh, actually how well it's organized as well. My first impression, first of all, is people because they're really good, nice, and welcome. In this project, I feel like a door of the explorer. I really like the mountains, the beautiful views around us, beautiful observatories. Uh, beautiful nature and <laughs> beautiful night sky. And I really like uh, almost the time on night around the fire with all people. My main challenge, I think, it was coming here because uh, it wasn't a good moment for me because I had too much work to the university. But I regret nothing, also physical tiredness, and we left uh, the group with Tom to go and. Uh, some stuff uh, from the shepherd house. I go down uh, from uh, Pip Ivan. It was very um, difficult for my back and for my knees. So it was to speak to unknown people. So like to make contact with anybody, especially the first day. And that their feet won't hurt that much. Good shoes are important. <laughs> yes. Because hiking can be very hard, but hiking with a not very <laughs> well <laughs> stomach system <laughs> can be awful. But uh, fortunately, I had um, the city team, the people who were encouraging us and giving, offering water, offering help, <laughs> stopping for us to <laughs> finish with our stuff. <laughs> so it was very helpful, and without them, I couldn't have complete this challenging. Uh, yeah, this challenge. <laughs> my best achievement was that I I, I finished with smoking. <laughs> yes, yeah, I don't smoke now. About three, three or four days, with no cigarette. Uh, for me, it was when I saw a lot of people from uh, uh, in other countries, and I get a lot of friends. It was to speak with people and uh, to get well with anybody. I realized that I'm not so hopeless, that I can deal with, I don't know, setting up the tent and uh, just organizing, organizing myself. So my best impression at the project were participants uh, who were really helpful to each other and uh, really helpful to all the teams. Whenever we needed to help somebody, whenever we needed to cook something, whenever we needed to prepare anything, we had people around who would help without even being asked. I think that's amazing. Also the people, we've been sharing with the experience. It was super nice to know different kind of people, cultures, and, and finally to know that we are the same. So. Uh, I feel people who have their way uh, same scene throughout, they know what they're gonna do, so just do what you're doing now. But that wasn't why I liked about it. I liked the view that you got from um, the hill. It's a really lovely moment when I met with God. <laughs> God! <laughs> I saw how people live in this uh, area and it's very interesting for me. Uh, it's real rural life in Ukraine. Arriving at the small shepherd's hut and then crossing over the hill and down into Babin, meet 
Kreuzing uh, Ave Maria. Crap in five words, your emotions uh, from our group, from this, from this project. Okay. Experienced, prepared, I mean, a bit shitty, uh, slow, active, and so active. <laughs>